This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic, that is reservations. Okay. So so uh, the topics that we are going to cover in reservations, there we will see the structure of a reservation and information it contains manual and automatic reservations, creating and changing data in the reservation, okay. enter a goods movement with reference to a reservation, okay. evaluation of reservations, okay. reservation management, okay. and picking, picking list for reservations. So these are the topics we will be covering in the reservations. Okay, so reservations, or the request to warehouse to have the materials ready for issue at a later date and for a particular purpose. So you reserve the material in advance. Okay. So for, for, for a particular purpose, like for, for consumption and all. Okay. To guarantee material availability, the required materials with the intended purpose, the required quantity and the requirement dates are reserved. Okay. So it is important that reservations are considered in materials planning so that a required material can be procured at the right time. So if you don't know the reservation, if you don't have the reservation, sometimes it is very difficult to do the planning activity. Okay, so I'll explain this in a minute. A reservation can also be used to plan an inward movement in advance and it ensures that a material is available when it is needed. Okay, so it's like a reservation is nothing but planning a goods movement basically. Typically, you will pre-plan goods issues and transfer postings with the reservation, but you can also pre-plan good receptors. Okay, so basically how the reservation happens is, let's say in your company, let's say you have a raw material. Okay, you have a raw material called ABC123. ABC123, it is having the stock 100 pieces in the warehouse. Okay, so now this raw material is consumed in a production order. Now, let's say we created a production order. We create a production order. Okay, so in this production order, this raw material is required 50 pieces. 50 pieces. Okay. So production order one. Now they created a production order. Production order. Two. Okay. Production order two. Now in this production order two, let's say the same raw material is required 80 pieces. 80 pieces. But the, the stock we have is already 100, only 100 pieces. So out of 100 pieces, 50 is already reserved. Out of this 100 pieces, 50 is already reserved to production order 1. So when we are creating the production order 2, system should show that this 80 pieces cannot be committed. Because out of 100, 50 is already committed to one order, reserved to one order, remaining only 50 is available. The 30 is not available. 30 pieces not available. Even though stock is showing as 100, even though stock is showing as 100, but as, as already 50 are reserved another order. So during the second production order, system should give us a message that 30 pieces not available. So these kind of scenarios, the reservation comes into picture. So when you run MRP, system will plan accordingly. Okay, so that's the reason the reservations are used. Now this is one scenario. Now let's say you have a finished product. You have a finished product. Okay, you have a finished product. Okay, let's say you have say 100 pieces in the stock. Let's say the finished product is XYZ123. Okay, now one customer came, one customer gave the order, customer one, he ordered for 50 pieces. Okay, so now we have not delivered yet, but out of this 100 pieces, 50 is reserved for this customer one. So now let's say another customer came. 
customer two. Customer two came and he is asking for hundred pieces. But the problem here is this hundred pieces already come out of hundred fifty is already committed to customer one. So now in this case, the, for the customer two system should warn us that only fifty pieces can be delivered out of all, even though his requirement is hundred. So the fifty pieces are reserved for this customer. So for customer two, we should have a information that only fifty can be delivered. Okay, so for these kind of scenarios, they will be using the reservations. Okay, reservations. Okay, so reservations can be generated basically in two methods. One is automatic. One is automatic. Automatically, you can create the reservations when you create a production order or some other orders in other modules. It will automatically generate the reservation. This we already covered actually in the goods issue. Okay. Now the another one is you can create a reservation manually. Manually you can create a reservation. The T code is MB20. MB20. Okay. So now once this reservation is created, using this reservation they will do the goods movement. They will do the plan. So this reservation information will get care. Will get uh, what do you call? Uh, passed on to MRP. MRP will consider this reservation, and also this reservation information will go to warehouse to carry out to plan the goods movement activity. Okay, so this already we covered. When you create a production order, it will it will generate the reservation. I will show you this again today. Another one is you can create a reservation manually also. Okay, so first I will show you the automatic one. Okay, let me log into the system. Okay, so let me take a finished product. Okay, this is a finished product. Okay, so this finished product. Okay, what I will do, I'll create a production order. This will be done by PPT. Okay, whenever they want to produce a product. They will create production order. So this this is a product they want to produce in this plant, and they will use order type. Okay, I will use YBM1. Okay, enter. Okay, let's say they want to produce hundred bottles. Okay, current data. This is PPM. Nothing to worry. Okay, I will allocate the batch number. Now I'm saving the order. So when I save the order. System will generate reservation for the bomb components. If you see here, there is a components button. If you go there, you will see for system automatically generates a reservation for these three components, raw materials basically. It will generate the reservation. So let me save this order. That's okay. So we created a production order. So if you go to the order display, if you go there, okay. So as we created the order. If you go to assignment tab, here you see you can see the reservation. This is automatically generated. So basically, there are two methods. So reservations can be created in two methods. One is automatic, the one which I showed you. Automatic. Next one is manual. Okay. So. So this reservation is automatically created. To see there is reservation. <coughs> sorry. To see this reservation, you need to go to transaction MB23. MB23. Display reservation. Enter reservation number. Enter. You see here, the movement type is 261. Okay. This is a, you can see the order number, production order number, and these are the components, raw materials. 6960109310 and these are the quantities as of now reserved so once the goods movement happen 
you, the quantity withdrawn will get updated here. Will get updated here. As of now, the goods movement allowed indicator is not at 